Uh, uh, good morning, y'all. <laughs> good morning, you all. <laughs> uh, wake up. <laughs> I ain't messing with y'all. <laughs> God bless y'all. One day at a time, little by little. Keep this in mind. Not everything going to be done for you at one time. All right? You should have this in your mind. I know y'all want stuff to work just like that. <laughs> Who don't? <laughs> Uh, but it don't work like that. You got to take the good with the bad, my brother or sister, because you can't have one without the other, all right? You can't have ups without downs, fouls without free throws, daytime without nighttime. You experience this every 24 hours, all right? You got 12 hours a day, and then you got 12 hours a night. Sometimes things going to be sunny and smooth, and sometimes they are not, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, don't nobody like nighttime, mm -hmm. I don't like nighttime. I used to love nighttime, be up all night doing dumb stuff. But listen, <laughs> uh, this nighttime is not just uh, 12 hours a night. Hmm? It's unpleasant moments. It's a reason for the nighttime in your life. Listen, I love the fact stars only shine at night. I love that so much. Hmm? Stars always out there, but you can only see them at night. Hmm? In the darkest hours of your life, you can shine ever so bright like a star, my brother or sister. Hmm? In the darkest hours of your life, you can shine so bright like a star in the midst of the night. If you allow the process to do what God intends for it to do, God our Father wants you to get closer to Him. He wants you to learn how to call on Him. He wants you to learn how to. He wants you to ask Him to send Jesus Christ to help, to help you. Uh, he wants you to learn how to take Him at His word. Jesus Christ is living Word of God. Listen. He wants you to learn how to trust him at your lowest moments in life. When you get to that point and understand that and able to trust in God, when stuff ain't going right, when it ain't when it ain't looking too bright, you're right there where you need to be, my brother and sister. Uh, word up. Uh, but you must go through some. All right, no pain, no gain. But before I keep on talking, all glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Uh, amen. Whatever today is, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, April 23, 624 a.m., 2024. The best is yet in store. I love to be up while the majority of y'all snore. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if you didn't get you one of these, you should have got you one before. It's a nice packet called Knowledge from God Almighty. Uh, volume 1 by some dude named Devontae Farmer. Whoever he is. Nice book with a nice name. Uh, but no notebook replaced the Bible. Hmm? I'm going to keep on saying that. I don't care what book you got. You can have 100 books. Hmm? Where? You can have a 100 step-by-step -step program. You're never going to get step 2 until you take step 1. Step 1, taking God this word. All right? <laughs> In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. In Him, in the Word, was life, and 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 <laughs> and that life was the light of all mankind. I believe that's how the verse go. Eh? Uh, yeah, you're never gonna get step two without taking step one. Step one, take God at his word. The light shines in the darkness, baby. And the darkness has not overcome it. <laughs> word, listen. Step one, the most important thing you can ever achieve, to take God at his word. Because when you get high up on the mountain and get to wherever you get to, you must understand step one. If you get far ahead in life and forget step one, you're going to come from the down sooner or later. Rome, at once upon a time, was a strong civilization. Was the strongest empire, the Roman Catholic Empire. Once upon a time, it was the strongest empire of the world. That's because Jesus Christ was at the was at the foundation of it. Yeah, once you once once you remove your foundation upon what you're standing on, upon what your life must be built on, and you build your life on some bull crap. I don't care how beautiful it look on the outside, how nice it look on the outside. It's been people who built uh legacies 100 years 200 years and they've been getting away with doing stuff the wrong way for a long time but nevertheless i have never seen nobody correct god i have never seen nobody mm, outwork god i have never seen nobody defile how god got how god 
has instituted life to be set up. Do you hear me? You might can get away with it for a little while. Satan himself, God gave Satan possession of the world temporarily. But if you read the book, say no, his time's short, and he got it, and his 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 periodic time of ruling is not for long. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Many of the people who live in Rome, they might be ruling for a, for a period of time, but nevertheless, I have never seen nobody mm-hmm, outdo God and defy defile God. Are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. If Jesus Christ is not the foundation upon which your life is built on, it's gonna come crumbling down sooner or later, my brother or sister. Mm-hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. I don't give a damn how good your job is, your career is, whatever you got going on, what them people offer you, give you. <laughs> Listen to me. If, if you don't take step one, Jesus said, man, don't live on bread alone, but on every word, every word that comes from the mouth of God. If you think you could just live your life with just making money, just have a nice career, just having a nice family or whatever you got going on. Listen to me, man. It's going to come from it's going to come from it's going to come crumbling down sooner or later. OK. You're never going to get step. Uh, no matter how far ahead of you. No matter how far ahead you get in life, <laughs> once you remove the foundation upon what you must stand on, and that's God your fault, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, once you remove them out of the picture and no longer takes that one, mark my words, man, uh, and see you are undo yourself in due time. All right? Anyway, yeah. If there is any truth in any books, they're going to point you to the Bible, okay? Uh, word. I understand step one. Step one is very important. Mm. Uh, anyway, where me going to me don't know. It's early in the morning. Um, he didn't get you one of these. Should have got you one of the real. I'm trying to see where I'm at. I started thinking about something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Before I keep on talking, I don't know where I'm going. Mm. God bless y'all. It's a privilege, honor, and blessing to be able to sit down and spend time with, with God and his word. Mm. Each and every single day. It's just like hopping in the shower, man. Something about taking God as word. Do you hear me? Uh, best thing you can ever choose to do. You want to be like Mary, not Martha. Jesus came to the home of Martha one day and opened up. Uh, she opened up her home to, to him. Uh, Jesus came in and started talking. He didn't say do this and do that. He just started talking. Just started, just started teaching, talking. Martha started cooking, cleaning, getting this ready, getting that ready. Jesus ain't, Jesus ain't tell her to cook and clean and do this and do that. He just came in and started talking and teaching. Mary, she just sat down at, at the Lord's feet and listened to everything that Jesus had to say. Mary chose to sit down at the feet of God. Do you hear? That's the best thing you could ever do. There is no better place Mentally, spiritually, or physically, you would rather be. Listen to me. To sit down at the feet of God and just receive what he got to say to you. You hear me? Through, through Jesus Christ. Listen. Through the living word of God. Uh, I can't explain it, man. But what, if, if, you, if you're if able to sit down and receive the word, there is no better realm than to be in. Do you hear me? Your mind is not worried about the world and what's going on in the world and, and it's bullcrap. You ain't worried about bills and family, this and all that. You're not worried about none of that. Your body, even your body feels, uh, your body feels secure. Because I'm telling you, uh, whatever pain you got going on, it will leave out your body. You listen to me. Spiritually, when you connect your spirit with the Lord's spirit and just sitting down, it's, it's peaceful. You can't explain it, but that peace will roll off you and others can feel that peace. You listen to that's how powerful it is, man. Word. Uh, that's the best thing you could ever choose in your life, to sit down at the feet of God. Martha, she, she was distracted. She came in hot. She said, Lord, don't you care that my sister left me do all the work? Tell her to help me. Mm-hmm. Tell her to get up. Come and help me. Mm-hmm. Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you worry and upset about many things. Only few things are required. Really only one. Mary chose what's best for her, and it will not be taken away from her. Mm-hmm. That's the best thing you can ever choose to do, to receive God's word. Mm-hmm. It can't be taken from you, and it's the best thing It's the best thing you can ever choose. Listen to me, man. Better than get high. Better than get drunk. Better than ha- having sex all day. Mm-hmm. Listen to me, man. I'm telling you this now. Mm-hmm. 
uh, when you sick, you take medicine. Some of y'all, if y'all like medicine, correct? You, it's good for you. If you need the medicine, take it. Okay. Well, in life, you got a hole in your heart that only God can fill. Yeah, the, the pe many people don't understand what I'm saying, man. Y'all trying to fill up on everything else, but what you need to fill up on. Everything else you're choosing ain't good for you. Most of the stuff is temporary. It, it, it provides you with temporary satisfaction, but that's coming from without. You see, that's coming from external. You see what I'm saying? You got to keep applying it. Listen, man, y'all forgive me for my allergies and stuff. But the best thing you could ever choose is to receive God and his word. Listen, man, it's more healing in God's word than it is in the medicine. You don't understand that. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, uh, anyway, how I get here. Best thing you can ever do is choose is choose the Lord's word and to be able to sit down at his feet. All right. Best thing you can ever do in life, man. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm telling you. I, I love to be in the zone right here. All right. Anyway, uh, it's a privilege and an honor to be able to take God at his word. Uh, to be to, to be able to receive wisdom from the Lord. It lead me to this. Go to Proverbs chapter two. I got time. Proverbs chapter two say the moral benefits of wisdom. We live in a world that's unwise. There's many smart people in the world, scientists, rocket scientists. <laughs> who build bombs and stuff like that. Them people dumb, in a sense, because they're very smart, but they don't see that they destroy themselves at the same time by what they create. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Mm -hmm. the, the people, sometimes it's not good to be so smart because mm -hmm. you get more smart than what you need to be and start. You think you're creating, but you're really destroying at the same time. You see what I'm saying? Many people building the bombs and stuff. <laughs> Y'all be... Dangerous. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be around the facility with bomb stuff being made because you can blow yourself up, bro. You see what I'm saying? You don't. That's not where you want to be. All right, you want to live life. Mm -hmm. Many people smart, but they dumb at the same time. Mm -hmm. You want you want wisdom from the Lord, not wisdom from the world. Mm -hmm. Worldly wisdom will lead to down destruction, but godly wisdom mm -hmm. save. It, all right. Proverbs chapter two, verse one. Brother Solomon wrote, "My son." If you accept my words and store my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding. Indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for for it as for silver, listen to me. I don't. I'm not trying to publicize myself. Uh, I don't like. I don't like to tag people. I don't like to tell people. Yeah. Listen, it's 6.35 in the morning. Mm -hmm. If any one of y'all watch my videos, I'm up very early. You listening? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> listen to what the word is saying. Mm -hmm. Indeed, if you call out for insight, forgive me. Indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it, ask for silver, and search for it, ask for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. This is something you must look for. Bless God and bless the people of the Lord who left behind evidence for us to go and find. If any one of y'all come across what I got going on and understand what I got and understand what the Lord giving y'all through me, that is a blessing. Uh, many people, you, you must go look. You you must go looking for the wisdom from the Lord. You listen to them. Uh, Many people just want stuff to fall in their hand. I'm not, uh, I, I don't make a big deal about making stuff publicly known because it's not for everybody. I'm sad to say that. Listen, I know for a fact, Jesus was right here with these people and they did not understand him. How much more will people understand me? He's the, he's the, the best. He's the master. If the people do not understand Jesus, I know for a fact they're not going to understand me all the way. Do you hear me? Some of the greatest people. Uh, God bless that brother, Minister Farrakhan. That brother is the truth next to Jesus. You listen to him. Mm -hmm. And this brother been working since 1984. I watch video. Listen to me. I'm going to get off here and go watch some videos of Minister Farrakhan. From, videos from 1980. Mm -hmm. I was born in 1994. Right, you listen to me. 
that brother said some stuff over 50 years ago mm, that is still connecting to this day and powerful. All right, listen to me. Mm, man, I, I had to go back and look and find it. All right, all right listen to me. It's millions of people who will see what's going on, but not everyone will understand. You hear me? If you understand and capture what the Lord giving you through somebody, uh, you are blessed, my brother, sister. And actually apply to your life as a blessing because as many people who just not going to capture this or, or even understand this. As you see, look at the world. I look at my friends and the people who I, who grow up with and we all come from the same spot, but mm, we're just not the same. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not no special. I'm not more special than you. You're not more special than me. It's just mm, many people not capturing what God put right there in front of them. Okay? Mm. Uh, you blessed if you capture this, my brother, sister. And I did some, I, I went and did some looking. Mm, you hear me? Whatever's for you, one thing that throws me off is God, he wished everyone to come to this knowledge, but not many people actually come to this. Uh, many people not even looking for this. The people more worried about money, having sex, getting high, or doing dumb stuff in the world. You see what I'm saying? They're not looking. They don't care about wisdom from the Lord. That's the last thing on their box probably to check off. You see what I'm saying? They got made his money. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. I, I find it more important for me to give what God gave me to the people. Do you hear me? I spend more time with the Lord than I do focusing on other stuff. You hear me? That stuff don't mean nothing to me. People... Don't find it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God. That's the most important thing in my life. And give it to some, give it to the people. If it ain't nothing but one person who captures what I'm saying, uh, I know if don't nobody capture what I'm saying. I'm gonna hear those words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. But uh, I leave behind a lot of stuff, <laughs> and most of the stuff. One thing, that, one thing I find super cool is you don't have, you don't find many people like me. Uh, doing what I'm doing, and I'm not trying to be publicized. But it's only a very smooth, very small amount of people who will understand understand me. You see what I'm saying? And capture the words of God that He's leaving behind for y'all. Uh, but for the ones who capture it, you gotta go do some digging and looking. Ask like ask like you're looking for gold. You see what I'm saying? Listen, I I got like over thirty phones. A recordings of people who over the years, the last five years, I would, I just sit back and record their 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 lectures and just listen to them because I, well, I I like to go back and re-listen. You see what I'm saying? But I never had nobody break it down. Only one person who I know able to break it down, like and and the sense what I'm doing. That's Mr. Farrakhan, that brother the truth. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I only been listening to Mr. Farrakhan for like one and a half years. You see what I'm saying? But the rest of the people, they never able to break it down. I got to go do a whole lot of digging and, and, you see what I'm saying, and putting pieces to the puzzle together. Mm. I, uh, mm. People look at me wonder how I'm able to do what I do. Uh, it didn't happen overnight. Mm. I do a lot of studying. Uh, and, you see what I'm saying? Uh, mm. Where you can tell people who pay attention versus people who not paying attention. You see what I'm saying? Mm. If you just put me in school, I'll be in the front row. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. I'm listening. Many people want in the back chilling. You can tell. When you go to church, you see people, they, they like to sit in the back. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Look, look, at, look at their body posture. Their their body posture. They like to be in the back. It's just like school for them. They in the back of the school. They're not learning. They talk. Hey, how you doing, Jim Jump? They here for the fashion. I ain't here for no for the fashion. I'm in the front. You see what I'm saying? Word, learning. Pay attention. Applying what I'm applying what I'm being taught to my life. You see what I'm saying? That's the difference. But listen, for any one of y'all who capture what God giving y'all, you are blessed because not many people gonna capture this. I know this for a fact. And some of the most special stuff that God give is, uh, it goes by, what's the word? Uh, it, it, it's not, what's the word? It's not televised. Some of the most special stuff, it's someone very special doing amazing work and y'all don't even know their name. You see what I'm saying? Some of the most special work goes untelevised. It's not publicized. It's not credited. As you'll see, many it's verse people got big church and got a lot of stuff going on. Man, a lot of people be fooled. But that's another stuff. Uh, that's another story for another day. Because uh, a lot of stuff that televised be some bull crap. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, some stuff be real, some stuff not. Uh, but anyway, we all who capture what God giving y'all, it's a blessing, man. Uh, I leave behind a nice little thing for people to find. 
you must go looking for it. <laughs> you must do some digging. <laughs> okay? Uh, if you look for silver, if you look for it, wisdom, ask for silver and search for it, wisdom, ask for hidden treasure. <laughs> then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. Yes, he do. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless. Yes, he is. For he guards, for he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Yes, he do. Hey, I've been placed. I can't talk about on here. <laughs> and made it back every time, too. <laughs> uh, then... <laughs> Then you will understand what is right and just and fair. Every good path for wisdom will enter your heart. I love that. Look to my left, look to my right. I don't got no teachers. I see many people around, man. They got help. They got groups of people. Y'all look on the internet and stuff like that. Everywhere you got the, the, the people in the group, man. I don't got no damn group. I don't got no one instructing me. I shouldn't even be here right now. I'm surprised. It ain't, it ain't nothing but the grace of God. You listen to me? I'm telling this now. Uh, I shouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. <laughs> y'all, I said it before, but y'all, people, I'm telling this now, man. Many people go to go to seminary school, cemetery school, whatever. And mine ain't worth a quarter. I'm just, I'm just saying. Mm. They got help. Y'all got help and still can't get back. Mm. You, see, you see what I'm saying? But I, I have no help. Mm. Word. And doing just fine. All right. Mm. God is my help. Truly. For wisdom will enter your heart. Mm. Not just your mind, but your heart. And knowledge will be pleasant to you, to your soul. Mm -hmm. Discretion will protect you. And understand will guard you. Amen. Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men. Will it not? Mm, hey, man, I'd be in a terrible place. Mm. I used to hang with the crowd. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And get involved in stuff I shouldn't be involved in. Mm -hmm. I started reading when I was 17. Do you hear me? And then I was, I'm telling this now, man. I'm telling, I remember like yesterday, I started reading when I was 17. And then I started noticing the stuff that's around me. Like I'm telling you, I stopped hanging with people and doing dumb stuff because I see these people going down the drain. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and I was right there with the people going down the drain. You see what I'm saying? But God pulled me to the side, told me to do my own thing. Birds of fell fly together. I stopped flocking with the bird. It ain't nothing but the grace of God who, that entered my mind and my heart. And wisdom from God that, that let me see. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm no different from the rest of these people. The only thing different about me is what I know and what and who I know. They say life ain't what you know, but who you know. Well, I know someone who know everyone. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and he been doing a good job of keeping me to the side. You see what I'm saying? I, I love that. Because uh, I'm, I don't got it all like the rest of the people don't got it all. But I just, it's what I know that's keeping me. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, man, I could easily be caught up making money like the rest of these people. Y'all hear me saying I've been places y'all might not get to go to. I'm not saying this for no reason, damn it. I know people who got the money. You see what I'm saying? Then they like me. You see what I'm saying? Word. Uh, word. Listen to me, man. I ain't trying to be funny. I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you. I can easily be with the people doing what they're doing, have it popping right now. You see what I'm saying? Mm. But life more than money. Life more than just just doing dumb stuff. And you see what I'm saying? Mm. Many people would not even understand mm, or think about what I'm thinking about. Mm. It's, it's, it's kind of Hmm. That's the word. Uh, it's unfortunate. You see what I'm saying? But many people, they just don't know. Uh, they probably don't want to know. Many, most people are ignorant. When you're ignorant, you ain't thinking like this at all. All right? You can care less about, about this. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you this now. I mean, that's how many people were. But I think God, uh, wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men. Well, they not. From men whose words are perverse. Who have left the straight paths to walk in dark ways and who delight in doing wrong and rejoice in the perverseness 
of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. <clears throat> wisdom, wisdom will also save you from the adulterous woman or man. <clears throat> Word up. Some of y'all, uh, a lot of y'all don't think. And y'all just find yourselves in different relationships with people who you should not be with, including myself sometimes, because I'm not perfect. Yeah, It's always the opposite of what you should be with that you want. What you mean, Devontae? Mm. Uh, a good girl want a bad dude, correct? Mm. That, that's how it go. Rather you tell the truth or not, uh, so, yeah, that's, that's what you attracted to, right? Yes, no? Mm. Y'all, the good girls, they like a bad dude who out here. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. They don't want someone who's nice and sweet. You see what I'm saying? Uh, some of them do, but I'm just saying. There be some mean girls who want the nice and sweet dudes or whatever. You see what I'm saying? It'd be opposite, bro. They just want someone nice. But anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, dudes with... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make it quick. Because little kids watch. I ain't trying to be too funny. Uh... A lot of dudes, uh, you, you put me in this category, they like crazy girls. I ain't trying, I ain't talking about crazy, but mm, they like girls that ain't good for them. Yes? No? Brother, you know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I don't know what it is, bro. It's like it opposites attract. You see what I'm saying? If that make any sense to you. I don't know what it is. Of course, you want a nice girl, but the most dudes be attracted to crazy stuff. Yeah, including myself, bro. I got you see what I'm saying? Let's <laughs> if me being honest with you, all right? Word. You know I'm telling the truth. You could you see what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, wisdom. I love the fact it say wisdom will save you from the adulterous women. Some of y'all find yourselves in relationships and then you have children with these people. And then uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad I ain't got no kids. Uh mm -hmm. but some of y'all be if you find yourself in a relationship you should not be in, okay? Mm -hmm. Wisdom will get you up out of it. Most of y'all be waiting too late to think until it's over. And then you, when it's all over, then you got no choice but to come out of your ignorance and wake up and then move on. Mm -hmm. Man, stuff will happen to me before I can see where this going to go even before it gets started. You see what I'm saying? And that, that, that automatically just... Man, just forget this. It ain't worth it, bro. That's how it is nowadays. It used to not be like that. I used to not, not even care. You see what I'm saying? But wisdom from the Lord does, will make you think about what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? Ahead of time. Most people not thinking. You're just thinking you're in a low state of mind. That's why you got low thoughts and thinking down below. You see what I'm saying? Below the waistline. All right? For the other people, y'all understand what I'm saying? Okay, that's where your thought process is. <laughs> All right, uh, you might be looking for love or whatever, but I'm guaranteeing you, ninety percent of, of what you really think about is below the waistline. All right, uh, most of y'all not thinking at all. But anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wisdom will save you. Also, from the adulterous woman, uh, from the wayward woman, with her seductive words. Yes, it will. Or, or man. There's some dudes out here that talk nice to y'all females and get y'all caught up. Yes or no? There's some females out here that talk nice too. <laughs> Word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Uh, I started thinking for a minute. <laughs> uh, well, listen. <laughs> uh, wisdom will save you from the adulterous woman, from the wayward woman, with her seductive words, who has left the pardon of her youth and ignored the covenant she made before God. <laughs> Surely her house or his house leads down to death and her path to the spirits of the dead. None who go to her or him return or attain the path of life. Thus, you will walk in the ways of, of the good and keep to the righteous to, and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land and the blameless will, will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land. As you see, the land going down now, correct? Yes, no. The people in the land and the faithful and the unfaithful will be torn from it. True? 100%. Absolutely. Um, wisdom. Most people now using wisdom applying to their life. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6 said, My people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge from what you don't know. Uh, but you'd be surprised how much 
knowing having a little bit of wisdom will separate will, will completely change your life. Do you hear me? I ain't talking about just being wise as in book knowledge. As many as many as many smart people who college educated but they stupid. Okay? At the same time. I ain't trying to be rude, but I'm just saying. Worldly wisdom is different from godly wisdom. Okay? Worldly wisdom is cool, but most of them that they can't apply it to their life. All right? Truly. As far as uh, making the right choices. Okay? Uh, but godly wisdom will protect your life. Wisdom from the Lord will make you think a certain way. Okay? And it's very good for you. You'd be surprised, man. It's a, it's, it could be a, a life maker, uh, the difference maker in one's life between life and death. Between, well, that's real right there. Uh, many people, they don't think like this at all. No word. But I'm getting off here, y'all. All right? I don't want to hit y'all too much. But uh, for those who capture what the Lord gives y'all, y'all are highly blessed. Because not many people will capture what the Lord when it got for them, okay? It's sad to say, but it's right there for them. Many people just not looking. Mm -hmm. I wasn't looking for, I wasn't looking. I was 17, man. I was, did a lot of digging and researching. You see what I'm saying? And this is not studying about God. I'm talking about just, uh, I like to look at what God leave my hand. You see what I'm saying? Many people, mm -hmm. their eyes, their eyes are not drawn to this. You hear me? But if your eyes capture this, mm -hmm. you bless my brother or sister because it was meant for you. All right? <laughs> All right. But I'm getting off here. Y'all keep on asking God for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. Okay? It's the Holy Spirit leading you to Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be home with our Father in Heaven and get up out of here one day. You dig? Can't wait to get up out of this place and then come back. Uh, and it should be uh, Gucci the second time around. <laughs> but uh, it's all good right now. Uh, I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me too. And I'll see y'all again. Amen. God bless all of y'all.